and why we're here. Because a friend of mine, a marmalade, asked me, how many chickens does it take to kill an elephant? And I don't know why she wonders that, but we're going to find out. We're going to start with a sandbox. <clears throat> As you can see, I've already set up the battle. So we're going to have the chickens. And the elephant. They're not going to stand very far from each other. There's going to be no weather. We don't want to have any other variable. So I did a flat map, no terrain, no weather, no variables other than the number of chickens. We're starting with 25. So can 25 chickens kill an elephant? First, an overview. Once it loads. As you can see, 25 chickens. And over here, one elephant. Isn't he a handsome boy? Look at that. Look at those chickens. So tiny, so tasty. And there's something over here. What is that? Ah, it is a slightly raised block. Yes. Interesting. Shall we see what happened? Begin. Okay, the chickens are off. They are they are hurled, hurtling towards the elephant. My god. Oh dear god. The elephant is murdering all of the chickens. They are pecking his feet. I think we're going to need more chicken. So the way I'm going to do this, we started at 25. Every step, every time the elephant wins, I did not expect the chickens to win here. Every time the elephant wins, I'm going to double the number of chickens until we either crash the game or the chickens win. And then I'll start ratcheting it down until we consistently find the level of chickens that it takes to kill an elephant. So, good. We've killed a bunch of chickens, is what we did. Uh, so, back to menu. <clears throat> we're gonna ramp this up. Now we're going to 50 chickens. Can 50 chickens kill an elephant? I don't know. You don't know. We're gonna find out. Okay, we have double the previous number of chickens. Look at them. They're arrayed in a nice, neat rank. It's actually quite impressive. I wonder how you got chickens stand in rows like that. I mean, has any have any of you ever tried to herd chickens into like a chicken coop? They don't want to. Anyway. Let's see if 50 chickens can take it out, because 25 sure didn't do the trick. The chickens are on their way. I could possess them and control them. I'm. The question is, how many does it take to take out an elephant? So I want to find... Oh, God. He's making a mess. The chickens are doing some damage. It's brutal. It's just brutal. The chickens are exploding in tiny fluffs of feathers. Blood is pouring out of the elephant. We killed the elephant. 50 chicken is what it takes to kill an elephant. Huh. I thought it would take more, to be honest with you. We've discovered that 50 chickens can kill an elephant. Let's ratchet it down now. Let's say... How about 40 chickens? Are 40 chickens able to kill an elephant?
We need to find out the precise number of chickens that it takes. For science. A little, a little confusion there in the, the rear chicken ranks. But now the soldiers are bravely marching to their doom. As usual, the first ones explode into feathery goodness. But they are wounding the elephant. Don't ask me how, but they are doing it. Half the chickens are gone. Will they do it? Will they kill the elephant? They did it! Okay, 40 chickens can kill an elephant. I'm starting to think I was pretty close with my initial estimate of 25. So let's go with 30. Yeah, we'll go with 30 chickens. But it's only five more than the initial estimate, and they did not win initially. So let's see what happens with 30 chickens. Yeah, you can do some big battles with this game. All right, 30 chickens against one elephant. Once we determine the exact number, we're going to see if it scales. So if it turns out it's 35 chickens, well, then does that scale logically? Would two elephants take 70 chickens exactly? Or how would that work? I'm going to keep doing this until I get elephant dead, one chicken remaining. We have eight chickens left, seven, six, five. Look at that. I think the elephant wins. All right, so 30 is too few. Too few. We're going to try 35. 35 chickens against one elephant. Discounting any other possible thing. No weather, no terrain. I don't know whether the chickens are particularly hungry. Probably. Can the elephant outlast 35 chickens? He's already killed three. Keep going, elephant. You can do it. We're all rooting for you. Except for Marmalade. He's probably rooting for the chickens. 18 left. Oh, this is brutal. There's blood everywhere. Little fluff of dead chicken. Just exploding. All right, we've, we've gone past 30. The chickens won! So, two chickens remaining at 35. So, is the number 34? Let's try 34. Thirty-four chickens against an elephant. Here we go. Charge my winged minions who cannot fly. You can do it. We believe in you. Will this be a victory for the chicken? We're aiming for one chicken left and one dead elephant. No, so 35 is the number. Now we, we need to get some verification. We're going to do 35 again, just to make sure that it's consistent. Consistency is the key in science. You have to have repeatable results that are independently verifiable. Begin, chicken. Take out your bloodlust upon that creature.
My god, it's brutal. Destroy the elephant. My minions. Yes, take him down. Ruin his day. Steal his peanut. Chickens are victorious with five remaining. All right, so there's some variation, but the minimum we've had success with is 35. Just writing that down 35 chickens that is the number now we're gonna see if it scales so 70 chickens two elephants go back to the sandbox we'll do two and 70. yeah we'll keep them on attack and start the battle twice as many elephants twice as many chickens will it still end up the same so we have our two elephants now and our small gaggle of chickens honestly if i saw this coming at me i would be a little concerned i like for my life i would be slightly concerned I have seen what chickens can do in real life, and it's not pleasant. It's not fun. I don't think they could actually, in real life, take on an elephant, but I don't have elephants to test. I certainly don't have chickens to test. So I do it in the closest simulation I have. This just looks brutal from above. Good lord. All right, so only 36 chickens are left. The elephants are taking damage. What's going to happen? Are they going to kill all of the chickens? They just don't put out enough damage. All right, so it doesn't scale logically. It is not a smooth scale. You can't just double the chickens and expect it to happen. So what if we quadruple the chicken? I'm talking 140 chickens. So we're going to quadruple our chicken number. Yeah, I may need a spreadsheet at some point. This is going to get a little complicated. All right, here we go. 140 chicken. One hundred forty versus two elephants. Can they do it? This is four times the number that was consistently victorious against a single elephant. But it seems like the elephants are overlapping, which gives them an advantage because only so many chicken can peck them at once. There's one elephant down. Okay, the so quadrupling definitely does it. And now let's just do something silly. Let's just do something really silly, shall we? How about... 10,000 chicken. 10,000 chicken. Versus a unit of 50 U.S. Army soldiers from World War II. What do you think? 10,000 chickens? 50 soldiers. I don't know, my money's on the chickens. They're pretty brutal. Wow. All right, so here's our 50 US Army soldiers. They have machine guns. They are ready. They have armor. They have helmets that the chickens are never going to get to. And then over here. 
Have you ever wondered what 10,000 chickens look like? Wonder no more, my friend. This is 10,000 chickens. That's how long it takes me to fly over 10,000 chickens. Look at these chickens. All right, here we go. We will delay no longer. Oh, right away. The soldiers open up. But the round, the rounds go over the chickens. I think they're still, they're aiming as if they were human. So most of the rounds go directly over the chickens and never even touch down. Now they are killing a lot of chickens, 300 already. But that's, that's like a hidden. That's a drop in the bucket from the ocean of chicken. Man, now I'm hungry. I want chicken. Anyway, but what will happen when they reach the soldier? I thought this dense formation would give them the best the best chance, but perhaps like spreading them out would have been better. Another variable to test. The chickens have not yet reached the soldiers and a tenth of their number is gone, but very soon they will overwhelm the soldiers ability to keep them at bay. This is like a nightmare scenario. Look at these chickens. All right, it, some of the soldiers in the front are starting to get pecked. Can these soldiers hold them off long enough to chew through 10,000 chickens? So many chickens. I'm getting tired of saying the word chicken. That's how many chickens there are. Look, they've, they've formed some kind of strange whirling pattern. I think the chickens in the center don't exactly know how to get to the soldiers anymore. They're just kind of milling about. It actually a bit hypnotic. Oh, we have soldiers down. We have many soldiers down. 30 soldiers have died. 33. Yes. The chickens have won. The chickens have conquered all. Chicken victory. Was there really any doubt? What else do we have in here? We have fantasy stuff. Interesting. Inanimate. There's an inanimate object. How do chickens do against dressers? I don't know. Is that even a thing? A thousand chickens versus a hundred dressers? Can we can make them eat furniture? This game is ridiculous. Do the did the dressers move? I have to find out. Look at there they are, they're dressers. This is fantastic. They're just a little chest of drawers, and they will sit there. And the chicken. My god, the chicken. I only did a thousand this time. Ten thousand felt a little much. Oh my god, the dressers are moving. Is this like a beauty and the beast thing? What are they, are they gonna attack? Guys, guys, this game is ridiculous. Chickens versus dressers. Oh, they're just mowing them down. Holy crap. All right, dressers OP. You know what I have to do now. This is, this is like carnage. Oh, they've gotten a couple dressers. Yeah, they're killing them. The chickens are killing some of the dressers. I don't... That's the stupidest sentence I've ever said on Twitch. The chickens are killing the dressers. I'm sure I'll top it someday. But it will not be soon. Alright, the dressers have won. That's also dumb. Alright. <laughs> okay. How about we get a map? Let's say... I don't know. Uh, A city. Yeah? No, that's not... No, no. No, no, no. What does this look like? This is like a keep. Ah, uh, there we go. Like a, like a medieval city. Okay. We're gonna go with some medieval knights. The medieval archers. 250 of each. Now we'll do less knights. 100 knights. 
and 250 archers. They'll be on team one. Team two will consist of zombies. 5,000 zombies. I'm not sure why this is here. Oh, this team. Okay, that's team one. So we're going to have the zombies out here. They're attacking the city. We have the knights protecting the city with the archers behind. We're going to put the archers Those are the knights. No. Two, one. Uh, the archers will be in a wide formation. Right back here. And let's see what happens. This is probably the last thing I'm going to do. Because uh, I am going offline at 9. I've got an early day ahead of me. So, 5,000 zombies versus a couple hundred knights. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I'm probably going to do some more of this later. This is pretty neat. Map looks really cool. Okay. So here are our hapless knights. They have been charged with the protection of this city. Yes. Protect it with your lives. Over here. The archers. They're all named Guy. That guy? His name Guy. That guy? Guy. His name? Guy. I think you get the point. And then, outside the city, the horde of zombies. Oh, geez. They don't look very hygienic at all. Shall we watch from the zombie side or the soldier side? Let's watch it from the side of the night. Here they go. Sally forth. Knights of the uh, desert. I don't know. Desert knight. Oh, here come the arrows. The arrows are not felling any zombies yet. And one knight is already down. No, no, one. Okay, the knights are killing the zombies. Never mind. But now one knight is down. I don't see the arrows doing much at all. And I gave them a lot of archers. Oh, more knights are coming to the, the front line here. We are killing quite a few zombies. Now, I do not know if these zombies fighting the knights will actually raise more knights as zombies. I, I have no idea how that works. But it looks like the zombies are outmaneuvering the knights here. And they're actually coming in and chomping on some of the archers. So, it does not look like the archers are getting back up after being killed by the knight, or the uh, zombies. I appreciate that the zombies are just slow shambling zombies, not like super fast zombies. It looks like the knights have been overrun. What will the archers do? Can their arrows even make a dent? They are killing a few now. There's a hail of arrows coming. But I do not think it's going to be enough. The game is ridiculous. I'm, I'm very excited about the possibilities here. I didn't know it could go through the wall. Okay. This is what it looks like. Being a zombie. Arr, zombie. There are very few knights, there are very few archers, there are no knights. Very few archers left. Let's possess one. Oh no! This looks hopeless. From this guy's perspective? Oh, here we go! You died. Yep, I did. Okay. 
Put that from the zombie's perspective. Get him. Oh, he's so slow. Oh, he's so slow. Why am I so slow? That's really odd. The other zombies are moving fast. Oh, there we go. We're shambling. We're shambling a little faster. Maybe it's because there's just so many zombies around me. Pressing up against them. I think that's it. I should possess one that's closer to the front. So I can get my nom on. Come here, you. Oh. Of course, I picked the dead guy. Who dies again. Man. Making me want to play vampire counts from Warhammer. For the war. Zombies have won. But the zombies lost. Well, they didn't lose that many. <laughs> about 300. Zombies lost about 300 of their people. All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. I appreciate everybody who came out to watch. And, uh... We're gonna go over here. And we are gonna roll the credit. I just think this is fun, so I'm doing it. Um, thank you everybody for coming out. Having some fun with us on stream. We're gonna do some more stuff on Friday. Probably play a little more Rebel Galaxy. Uh, might do some more ult Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. I may save that five times fast see what happens but really appreciate you really appreciate you coming out really appreciate the follows and um i'll see you guys next time